a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Always love talking with you and enjoying uh, the calls that uh, reach out, all the folks that are reaching out. It really makes our day when you reach out to the hotline, 727-263-3707. Give us a call or a text, and, and we want to connect you to all of our expert contributors, 727-263-3707, consumerqb.com as well. Uh, Jason Coble, Coble Law on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, you know, a lot of times we post things online, and you think, wow, uh, could I – you think that could I be arrested for that? Uh, not really, right? We're not thinking that. Uh, there's a guy named Douglas Mackey that actually got arrested and he's serving time. I think it's around seven months that he's put in prison for posting something on Twitter, on the internet. We're going to have Jason Coble, the attorney, break that down for us and how uh, this uh, current administration is pushing the boundary in a lot of different ways when it comes to lawfare. Uh, so uh, Jason Coble on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Also, Alex Black Belt Lima. Uh, we're going to talk with him as well about uh, some of the trends happening in self-development or personal development, self-defense and uh, homeschooling. There's a big trend push now towards homeschooling. Uh, before we do, uh, a couple of hot listings here. Uh, my wife, Lindsay, and I own a top 100 ranked real estate team at Keller Williams Realty. We always help our sellers sell faster for more money. Our number one goal is to help you sell faster for the least amount of uh, time on market and for the most amount of profit, the most amount of money. Uh, 4501 Garnett Drive. This is a waterfront property in Gulf Harbors. Uh, beautiful property on the canal with bay access. This is a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath 2215 square foot home uh, it has a, a large uh, living room uh, just minutes to great shopping and restaurants it had a beautiful courtyard in the back tile uh, in the uh, kitchen you also have uh, some pavers there oversized garage canal frontage on the waterfront in gulf harbors uh, you can bring your boat and enjoy that florida lifestyle too the fullest. Uh, we also have a listing here at 5422 Glen Ivy Place. Uh, this is a newer listing to our team, and this property is uh, set up as a uh, two bedroom, two bath home with a garage, and it's very affordable. Pinellas Park, uh, you have a community pool, huge community pool there. Uh, you have a luxurious safe step up tub shower, extra $16,000 addition by the owner. It's Springwood Villas. The community is close to St. Pete, has everything to offer. Stainless steel appliances, brand new refrigerator. Uh, beautiful property at Glen Ivy Place North in Pinellas Park. Uh, you can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Make sure you check out PlatinumCoastalElite.com. This is God's country. All right, we got uh, Jason Coble on the line. Coble Law, Jason, how you been, my friend? Uh, great, Brandon. Always a pleasure. Yes, sir. Uh, let's let's jump right into it. So we got, we got some interesting news, man. I saw this Tucker interview where he was talking about uh, the uh, First Amendment, uh, free speech. Uh, Douglas Mackey. I want to start with this clip and then get your uh, reaction to it. So, um, at any point, did you think that you'd committed a crime, or that others would think you? When did you discover that you were considered a felon by the U.S. government? Uh, well, I had eight to ten law enforcement agents come and lock on my door at 7 a.m., uh, seven days after Joe Biden was inaugurated. Did you have any warning that this was coming? No, no warning. So what were you doing at 7 in the morning? I was sleeping. I want to pause it right there, Jason, because eight to ten law enforcement officers – the, like seven days after Biden was inaugurated. So they waited, of course, until the regime change to to have this, that DOJ going after uh, this private civilian for posting on TikTok. What's your initial reaction there? Uh, the stuff, you know, it, it's so upsetting. Uh, first of all, there's Supreme Court cases, multiple, that state of all the types of speech, political speech is supposed to be the most protected by the First Amendment. Because obviously, you know, our citizens voicing their opinions around election season, that's critical. We always want to hear everybody's input. So we, you know, our country always protected political speech. So here, this guy's posting things online prior to the election, and that's political speech. And you're allowed to have an opinion. You know, you could disagree with someone's opinion. You could even 
state something that's not true. It doesn't make it a crime. And I saw an interview with Hillary about this, and she said, well, normally free speech would protect this, but he crossed the line and it turned into election interference. That, that's she ridiculous. got an action. And, uh, I, would, I would appeal this ruling, and, and hopefully it would get overturned, but uh, it, it, it's disgusting. And then bringing seven to eight agents, to his house, that's that's consistent with the way they've done most of the, uh, you know, conservative sided uh, individuals that they've gone after, like Roger Stone. They went to his house. They had CNN there, meeting them there first yeah. thing in the morning. Took him out. They had him and his poor wife in his underwear. And yeah. then this guy, they 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 like to use that excessive force. I, I think to, to silence us, but I, I you know, just disturbing. It cost millions of dollars as well. Uh, the clip continues. I'm going to continue the clip. Uh, I'm going to continue yep. the clip here, uh, if I could. Um, um, so you're sleepy here and knock, and then what happens? And then the FBI. Are you Doug Mackey? Yes. What's going on? Like I, I asked them. Uh, they said you're, we have a warrant for your arrest. I said, what for? For what? They didn't tell me until I got to the courthouse. Did they cuff you? Uh, yes. The FBI threw Jason, don't they have to tell you when they're arresting you what they're arresting you for? Isn't that like a basic right? Well, you know, they should have read them as Miranda right, uh, for sure. But, I mean, it is a little odd for him to only find out why at, at court. But that's definitely not the standard practice. But, yeah, it, 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 it's not surprising he picked the wrong uh, politician to uh, voice an opinion on yeah exactly and the clip continues handcuffs on you at your home at seven in the morning and didn't tell you why yes did you have any idea why no i had no idea what was going through your mind um i knew that uh politicians could be vindictive and the federal government sometimes could be influenced by those politicians but and I know that they can sort of get very creative with federal statutes. So if I was the enemy of their candidate, then I thought maybe they could cook something up. Yeah, Jason. So it's just there. It seems like they're cooking a lot of stuff up also against uh, former President Trump. Unprecedented times where you have a, a regime arresting, indicting and putting on trial on multiple fronts the former president of the United States. Yeah, you know, I, I love practicing law, Brandon, you know that, and I've, I've been doing it for 23 years, and I've always been impressed about how powerful our system is when, it's, when it operates right. But to see people, our politicians, our establishment, uh, abuse it and use it to target political opponents, in particular President Trump, that's the most un-American thing I think I've ever seen uh, in my life, and it's disturbing particularly President Trump, if you look at it. But you know what the irony is? I'm always uh, complaining about these things, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a spin on it, and it's going to be positive. I personally believe, I don't know if you saw, but this week the co-founder of Black Lives Matter endorsed President Trump. I think more people than ever are supporting President Trump. He's winning in all these swing states except for, I believe, one, which if that held out, that would be a huge landslide. I think that these ridiculous uh, the civil fraud case where there's no victims, the ridiculous 100-plus criminal charges, I think that it has actually imp improved his support. And that's a, a primary reason why he'll get a second term in 2024, at least I hope. That would be at least a silver lining to this. Yeah, and, and less and less people are getting their news from the lamestream globalist news networks. More and more people are yep. going to podcast. They're going to talk radio. Uh, and that's why it's so important that we were able to fight against uh, some of the automakers, the push by the left to remove AM radio from vehicles. That's awesome. And you know what? Elon Musk just made a similar comment. He said that pretty much now every person uh, with a phone is, is a possible reporter. And, and he encouraged people to do your own reporting uh, and, and post it on the Internet. And that's the best way to combat the mainstream media, who is all about hiding the truth and, and spinning their narrative. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the, the way that we consume information, uh, the fact that he bought Twitter. I mean, look at Twitter now. It's a free space of ideas. You don't just have it dominated by the leftist side that's pushing everything and then, of course, censoring uh, conservatives, kicking them off the platform. Uh, you at least have that. 
but yeah, it's still it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, have you have you happened to see uh, Dinesh D'Souza's new movie, Police State? Not yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, gonna... I, I want to, but I'm I'm scared because I know that I'm going to find out even more stuff that's disturbing. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to see it because I liked his last one. Yeah, he does a great job with that. So I want to see that movie, Police State. I, I've I started the process of that. Uh, but, yeah, if you just join us, folks, we're talking with attorney Jason Coble, Coble Law. He's one of our expert contributors. This is the Consumer Quarterback Show, and I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. Uh, we talk a lot about real estate, credit, finance, estate, and tax planning on this show. Uh, we can help you, of course, with referrals to great attorneys, CPAs, uh, financial advisors, self-defense experts, boating and yachting, planes, jets, uh, automobiles, you know, you name it. We got the doctors, we've got the attorneys, the CPAs, all the great folks that we can connect you with. 727-263-3707, consumerqb.com, 727-263-3707, call or text, and also consumerqb.com. Jason, tell us a little bit more about locally what you're doing here in your practice. Oh, thank you, Brandon. I actually have a very good tip I would like to uh give to the listeners today um every single year and i've been practicing for 23 years this has happened so i'm sure it will continue but for whatever reason the last two months of every year i always get the most on settlements so insurance companies maybe it's a tax thing i'm sure this is over my head i'm not a accounting or tax expert but the last two months of every year they will always put more on cases to the point where i usually get about 50 to 75 percent more than I would in the, in the other months, in the last two months. So why I announced that is if anybody's out there and they're, you're in the middle of a case represented by an attorney or if you represent yourself, now is the time, if you, if you can. It's not always the right time, but if it's the right time to try to settle, now is the time you want to do it. In November and December, you will get more money in these months than any other month. Huh. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I bet you it is. It's something to do with write-offs. It's something to do with, like, them looking at their books, opening up their books and saying, ah, you know, we could afford this or it's a better way. Tax tax purposes, that, that makes sense. Yep. But, boy, it's a, it's a sure thing. So, yeah, if you know, if you weren't aware of that and you have a case, you know, tell your attorney, hey, like, get, get me an offer. I bet you'll, you'll find you'll get the, the highest ones now uh, as opposed to the other ones. And you're talking about personal injury law, workers' comp, any type of uh, injury law, and, and you also have a specific uh, part of your practice with workers' comp. Is that right? Absolutely, yep. I, I, you know, I do all injury law, so workers' comp is when you're injured at work. And in those cases, settlement is voluntary, but still, even the same, just like in personal injury, in the, in the last two months, I would get the most on the workers' comp settlement. And then personal injury, you eventually go to a jury trial if you can't settle. But 95% of cases settle, and I always get way more in November and December. So, yeah, workers' comp and personal injury cases, if you're involved in one now, these are the months to hit them up for money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, make sure you do that. Reach out to the show. We'll put you in touch with Jason Coble, attorney Jason Coble, that is. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back uh, more with attorney Jason Coble here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we've got over 2,300 videos now. I think it might be closer to 2,500 uh, videos on YouTube. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really means the world to us. It helps the algorithms and all that good stuff, too. So ConsumerQB.com. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you've been listening to the phenomenal Brandon Rhymes, the Consumer Quarterback Show. To get in touch with Brandon, call 727-263-3707. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Dennis Prager here for Brandon and Lindsey Rhymes, owners of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Buying, selling, investing in real estate, their nationwide Keller Williams network makes them the best team to work with. Sellers have your property featured live on air, creating multiple offers. Buyers leverage a unique system that gets your offer accepted, never overlooked. Call or text 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550 or ConsumerQB.com. I want to give a special thanks to Satellite Phone Store. They just hooked me up with this beautiful satellite phone, and it's a gorgeous phone. It's a great device. It's a safety device as well. Think about it. If you're out on the boat 40, 50 miles out, maybe you're going hunting or you're going hiking in the woods somewhere, you run out of cell phone service, 
Or who knows, maybe a possible terrorist attack. It's not like our politicians aren't entrenched in all this stuff going on overseas, all over the place, all over the world. Could be a terrorist attack. They could attack the power grid. They could attack the cell phones. Who knows what they're going to attack next? Sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B. Sat for satellite. Sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B, like real estate quarterback. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. And we're back. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show. We're powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. And we like to feature our real estate listings live on air. It's part of our strategy to help sellers sell faster for more money. Uh, also, quick shout out to the Billmar Beach Resort, uh, the official uh, hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show, the beautiful Billmar Beach Resort on Treasure Island, a great time of year still to get down to the beaches and enjoy it. Say hello to Clyde Smith. He's the general manager. Let him know the real estate quarterback sent you. BillMarBeachResort.com. Book directly at BillMarBeachResort.com. And a couple of hot listings here from the Platinum MVP team. Uh, we've got 11722 County Road 672. Uh, we have a, a large, uh, almost 20 acres of land here. It's a fully equipped farm that has a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. 40 foot by 40 uh, 100 foot warehouse and you have orange trees citrus trees and other palm trees as well an assortment of palm trees uh, you also have a refrigerated trailer for a semi 11722 county road 672 in riverview great opportunity here to own real estate kind of a commercial slash residential property with a single family home beautiful photography online compliments of fabre frameworks uh, 3331 Gardenia Drive, another waterfront beauty in Hernando Beach. Uh, we've got a couple right up there in that same neighborhood here. Um, this one is six bedrooms, four bath, 4,500 square feet. you got a split floor plan, bamboo flooring, vaulted ceilings, gorgeous spiral staircase, two-story uh, with a screen lanai and a pool and a balcony overlooking the canal. Great opportunity to own real estate with bay access to the Gulf of Mexico. 3331 Gardenia Drive, Hernando Beach. And you can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. That's PlatinumCoastalElite.com. All right, we got attorney Jason Coble here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And um, Jason, I like to talk about you know, current events. We've got an open southern border. Uh, we have uh, some of the, the highest record levels of, of uh, illegal uh, immigration and, and drugs flowing through that southern border. And also it brings a certain level of uh, human trafficking. Uh, we interviewed the sheriff of Pinellas County, Bob Galtieri, on the show last week, and he was mentioning that. So you can check out the YouTube channel, folks, and see all of our previous interviews. Sheriff uh, Bob Galtieri was on that. Uh, that video is on our site that just got released as well. Uh, but, Jason, what, what's your thoughts around that open southern border? Well, boy, you know, and, and right, right now, I guess, uh, this week, uh, Biden is going to meet with uh, President Xi, which to me is just a nightmare. I wish he wouldn't meet with anybody one-on-one. Uh, any leader, but at any rate, they're allegedly going to be discussing some deal they're going to make regarding fentanyl because, you know, the chemicals come from China and then the uh, cartels get it across our border. Well, if the border is still going to be wide open, <laughs> I don't know how much that's going to help because the cartels are still shipping it over at amounts that are just never, never been seen before. But, it, and, and obviously, yeah, it's a nightmare with uh, what's going on in Israel. We have Hamas. And Hezbollah telling us that they're going to come to America to kill Americans and they're going to come through our southern border, and we still have it open. So it, it's a nightmare. But uh, as far as uh, you mentioned a few times, and I, and I hadn't seen it yet until recently, I just saw Sound of Freedom, and, man, that was a great movie. And uh, it actually it got me looking into the matter factually, and I, I just can't believe what I was reading about how big that, that industry is, second biggest criminal industry in the world right now. Uh, and, and I just I, I wasn't aware. So I commend those people who made that movie because it was well done and uh, it opened my eyes. That's a subject we don't like to think about. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's what a, what a crime, what a criminal organization that is, because drugs, they're easy to get caught with. They smell the dogs and smell them out. Uh, but with a human being, 
you know, it's a, it's a re- renewable resource in a sense, right? From a sick way to think about it, uh, it's you know they're they're reusing these these people, putting them in hotel rooms, drugging them up. There's some drugs involved. Uh, so yeah, the, the human trafficking is just a horrible, uh, and it's being emboldened now. All these people, all these crime syndicates, uh, all the people that are in that sense, uh, from what you saw in that movie, Sound of Freedom, they're being allowed to do that by the current administration opening the southern border, and then they want to complain. Uh, I, I saw a clip from Bill Maher where he was talking about immigration. Actually, let me play this clip here. I think uh, I think we'll get a kick out of this one. I believe this is the clip where he has Ted Cruz on. Uh, it was a guest on Bill Maher, and they're talking about immigration, but he wants to say how they're shipping uh, these people to the uh, sanctuary cities. Uh, l- listen to this clip. Do Republicans have a good answer to address the border crisis other than busing migrants to liberal cities? Ooh, a little dig there, Ted, a little... It's It's actually very simple, which is secure the border, and when you apprehend someone, send them home. When when Joe Biden started, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And he came in and he immediately reimposed catch and release, and it produced the worst rate of illegal immigration in our nation's history. I I spent a lot of time at the border. I go out on midnight patrol with Border Patrol agents. Really? Many times. You you should come. I'll I'll actually bring you if you're interested in... (laughs) If you want to see... No, no. I I will tell you this, actually, Bill. If you saw what was happening, you Uh, would be horrified because the people being abused by the traffickers... You don't understand it till you see it firsthand, and it is is immoral what's happening at our southern border. I take your word. Okay. I don't have to go. Um. (laughs) But but it is easy to fix because... What actually worked is we had an agreement with Mexico that was called the Remain in Mexico Agreement, which says that if someone crossed into Mexico illegally from typically Central or South America, they would remain in Mexico while their uh, asylum case was proceeding in the U.S., and the numbers plummeted. We had the lowest rate, as I said, in 45 years. So, yeah, you know what what I really enjoyed about that interview, though, with Bill Maher interviewing Ted Cruz, is they actually had a civil debate. They actually talked about issues. They talked about different, uh, you know, topics that are going on, and and it was, it was a respectful debate. And we need more of that in this country, Jason. Oh, great point, Brandon. I agree a hundred percent. And Bill Maher, he's one of the, uh, I'd say, rare Democrats. He's he's a little bit more middle of the road, and and he has some logic and reason, and and he's able to have a. Uh, uh, political conversation without losing his mind, unlike uh, so many people. But no, that's an excellent point. Yeah, you know, and it, that's it seems like everything's so polarized. You know, I even got into kind of a little quick little argument over the weekend with one of my one of my longtime friends that, uh, you know, we started talking about the, uh, you know, the, the vaccine and, and, you know, the jab and, and you know, just the, the problem is, is people like that, they get all their news from one side of the aisle. They get one source and they don't don't consider uh, the other. So I unfortunately, it's tough when you have those situations. Exactly, and sadly, and I have to say, admit this, you know, the, the, there's a lot more liberal outlets for sure, but even the conservative ones, I watch Fox sometimes, and I'm like, that's fake, <laughs> that's fake news, or they exaggerate, or they didn't confirm, so, you know, so it happens on both sides, so honestly, I think nobody should be relying on a single source, and it's sad that it's like that, but you have to, you have to do a little research, you have to dig, you have to look at multiple sources, try to get to the actual you know, source if you have a video or something like that to find the truth yourself because you cannot trust any of these media outlets. Absolutely. They all have an agenda. There's a lot of money involved that people don't even realize. Uh, and, uh, you know, they have a narrative that they're going to push, and that's the way it is. But, Jason, uh, how do you want people to connect with you, my friend? Uh, TampaWorkCompLaw.com or uh, call the show. TampaWorkCompLaw.com where you can reach out to our show hotline, 727-263-3707. Uh, it's a 727 local number, 263-3707, tampaworkcomplaw.com. Jason Coble, always a pleasure uh, having you on the show. Thank you, Brandon. Pleasure uh, was mine. Hey, my pleasure. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back more with Alex Black Belt Lima on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to talk about uh, this trend towards homeschool and, and some of the other uh, self-defense topics that we want to get into here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Make sure you check us out online at ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. 